guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 14 of To Your Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't want to talk about Kick It. Yeah, I know. Like, oh. How we might not even see poor running him. I mean, yes, yeah, she's still like. He has to rescue her, but I mean, we are very, very close to be done with him in the series, and who knows how it's gonna end. The fact that he's got to be a gladiator in order to rescue her. Oh, but, I mean, you know, he can't die, so he'll be good. So something tells me, of course, yeah, Fushi's gonna win, save Pyoran, and then take her and the rest of them kids off the island. Well, not die. Fight and not die. Been three. What the heck? Yes. Damn, you got trampled on. And are they going to have the women and children fight like this, too? Not all. Oh, damn. Not only is this, like, Game of Thrones, this is freaking Hunger Games.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but why is she gonna pull that thing out? But if you don't do anything, he's just going to keep trying to kill you. Oh, I think everyone was surprised. <laughs> hey, does he Google one I can't. Come on, man. Did he just die that quickly? Damn. Running a business. But damn. Because, yeah, you can't die. <laughs> Fushy, where are you going? <laughs> and something tells me. Oh, damn. 
All you are going to die. Y'all kids are going to die. I, do, I know it. I just know it in my heart. Damn. Are those the last three chiefs? But damn. So you want to escape, but at the same time, you're a little bit afraid to. What about the rest of you guys? And you're a prisoner. There's no way in hell she would do that. She's too kind. Well, yeah. Kind of forgot about the fact that she was a criminal. Because at the same time, you know, she's the one who told Mar chose Marge to die. What do you do? Psh, right? I know. Yeah, this isn't normal. None of you should be here. And it's sad that, like, even the prisoners, like, it, it's interesting that the prisoners get to have just still a normal life, but they never get to leave. I know. But 
those are self it was self defense though, but not like this. No! He didn't kill him! So then you're telling him that he also, it, it's March's fault. I mean, no. Uh, it's his fault that March died. It's his fault that the nameless boy died. It was a hero's sacrifice. That's that lady, ain't it? Oh, um, 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 um. Hold up. My thing is, why does she just lick him like that? This ain't no Bruno Bacciati. <laughs> Jono Jojo Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Talking about a girl. I think so. Well, dang. Mm. I know. God damn it. F an owl. I'd be afraid to be the announcer because shit.
Oh. think so. I mean, but ooh. You can't turn into March. Huh. You can't turn into the bear because huh? March. Yeah, March's friend. Oh, well, thank God. Like, I kept wondering when he was going to change into her. Sir, no, that's disgusting. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, that's gotta be that woman um, who killed March. Straight up. Because even though, like, when, when she sat there and licked the crap out of him, like... What the fuck? Whoa, okay. 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 Like, it, it, but then it makes you wonder, why is she back? Because I, I thought she was dead. I, I straight up thought she was going to die or something. Because it had to be like, oh, oh it, it's been a while since we've seen her. And I'm like thinking, yeah, like, yeah, you did. We moving on to the next person. I mean, you killed March and I still hate that. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was, cause, especially because of the fact is, like, when we met Gugu, Gugu was maybe, like, 10 or 11, possibly, when we met him. And he, you know, from that time skip, he became a man. So I'm thinking, if that was her, which it seems like it is, I'm thinking she was freaking dead. Because it's like, okay, how many years has it possibly been since that attack, you know, and rest in peace, freaking March and such. If it's not her, then maybe it, it's possibly March's friend. But th there's no way in hell. It, it's got to be the woman who freaking, you know, mm, it's got to be that woman. Because why would March's friend lick the crap out of Fuji? You know, uh, that's gross. Like, mm -mm. I'm going to call her Ari for short. Okay, we got five episodes left before 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 26. We got six episodes left before we're done with this show. And Tony is the, or not Tony, Ari is the last girl, the last person that he's going to have a bond relationship, something with before she dies. 
she's in the opening, she's in the ending, especially in the, like, because now after really looking back at that opening, yeah, she's the final person. So we already know she is going to die by the end of this. And I hate the fact because <laughs> she's our, she's precious, even though I kind of have like a love-dislike relationship with her because of the fact is, yes, I mean, you know, she's a kid and sometimes you can't always trust kids, but... The fact is that, you know, she she's only caring about, like, this, is that, and the third, especially her and her friends. And, you know, it's a possibility that Fuji might be the next chief because, of course, he is an immortal being. He can't die no matter whoever he's going up against. Um, no one can kill him. He can kill the others if he really, truly wants to. But because Fuji cares about people and life and the importance of life and he doesn't want to kill he he's not going to that's why no matter what he's always trying to push some away someone away and say like i need you to stop i don't want to fight you let alone kill you because there is no reason for us to fight slash kill each other because fuji is this nice kind hearted person even though no matter how many people or whoever he makes somewhat and Oh God, no, a relationship with or something with person A, B, C, D, whoever, they do always die in the end. Let's talk about the dang mole thing. Like, he didn't mean to do that, but that just tells you, even since the beginning of this series, anything that is around him is going to straight up die and such. But he, I, like, I don't blame him for the nameless boy dying. I don't blame him for March dying. I don't blame him for, you know, Google dying. But of course, the person who created him is going to blame him and say, like, no matter what, no matter where you go, what you do, no matter how many people you, you're going to meet, there's nothing but death around you. And it's so freaking true that, like, I feel like by the end of this, the old woman who he's been traveling with since the beginning of this series, especially when we got into March's story, she might die by the end of this. We got six freaking episodes left. Anything could freaking happen. But, um, who fucking knows? I, I, I really don't know. But something tells me that the lady who killed March, um... She's going to talk to Fuji again, possibly when he's awake, of course, because why? I mean, you're you're at your most vulnerable when you're asleep. So it was already weird enough that she came up to him, licked the crap out of him and then just abruptly left. So I feel like the next time these two see each other, she's going to he's going to remember her. She's going to he's going to put uh, he's going to put his guard up around her and be like, hey, don't kill me. You can't kill me, but I can kill you. I feel like that's going to be the one person that Fuji is really, truly going to want to kill because of the fact is because of her, March is dead. His mother is dead. Someone who he really, truly cares about is dead and he can't do anything to bring her back. That's the same thing for everyone who has died around him who has been so fucking important to this series. But we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 14 of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next, uh, next Monday for episode 15. Bye, guys.